John and Peter are gonna take me for a little test drive just to make sure I feel really good handling the manual because I have very little experience driving a stick shift. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited. You have 15 minutes of experience. <laughs> About 15 minutes of training from a friend last week. Thanks, Nathan. Okay. As soon as it starts, I'll tell you what you did wrong. The past two days we've been exploring Venice and today we are leaving this beautiful city to move into what will be our home for the next two weeks. We're getting ready to go pick up the camper van and Ellie needed to take a quick power nap. <laughs> We're waiting until the last possible second before we need to check it over our Airbnb so she can get a little bit of a nap. But she's laughing, so it was worth it. <laughs> Ellie, you ready to go for your first RV trip? All right, let's do it. Load her up. That's what they mean when they say backpacking Europe. All right. This is the first of two bridges. Let's do it. We are renting from Anywhere Campers for two reasons. One, most of the motorhome rentals we found, you have to pay for your rental and then like add on things like sheets and pots and pans. Anywhere Campers includes all of those things. And the second reason, they do one-way rentals. I lost my group. So with the one-way rental, we're starting here in Venice. We're gonna drop off in Rome and then continue going south, exploring by train and Airbnb. Ellie, don't headbutt the camera. You good, babe? <laughs> yeah, good. I feel like everyone was silently judging me whenever I was like carrying this through Venice. Like, look at that guy. He's never been on a trip before. <laughs> packed this whole wardrobe. I actually packed like very little. It what looks it looks like a car seat bag, like the shape of it. Oh, it does it? Yeah. Okay. So because the rental company that we're using does one-way rentals, you kind of pick up your motor home wherever there's like an easy spot. So for this one, grocery store parking lot. You think that's RV right there? There's two RVs here in the lot. Oh, there's one over there. Oh yeah, I see the logo on the corner. Anywhere campers. We think this might be one of our motor homes. Okay, so I need June. Jo John, John Sullivan. Sullivan. Yeah. That's me. So your family will be here. Excellent. And your family, your car is uh, on the other side. Yeah. Over there? Okay, I'm Damien. Damien, hi. Hi, hi. It would seem that this is the parking lot for picking up motorhome rentals because there's a bunch of them here, but this one's ours. Yeah, <laughs> wow. All right. Oh, I'm let's, gonna set these out here for a second. Yeah, let's, let's de-bag real oh. quick. Moment of truth in the RV. Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> oh. Wow. This is cool. This must look clean. This is beautiful. What do you think, Ellie? Your first RV. What do you think? Are you excited? Oh, okay, she's happy. <laughs> so this is where we're going to be spending the next two weeks, traveling around Italy, starting here right outside of Venice in a grocery store parking lot. Feels very homey. <laughs> Our views feel like home. Yeah, I'm excited. Making sure the car seat fits. Yeah, you Perfect. Yeah, with yeah, that cushion yeah. removed, it's perfect. <laughs> we're a little bit worried. Very worried. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Fun. Bye. Damien just handed over the keys, said the motor home is ours, so we're going to load up our suitcases and everything really fast. Can they fit outside? Yeah, he kind we, of got the tour while I was feeding Ellie, so I have no idea anything about yeah. this motorhome. If you watch any of our videos in New Zealand, it's almost identical format as far as the mm -hmm. rig goes. So we have a rear gear garage, so we can throw our big suitcase in there. Perfect. Our car seat fits, so we're good. Now we just, let's load it all up. Okay. Super quick mini tour, yeah. Dining room, driving area, obviously. We've got a kitchen, or are you going to sit there for the whole tour? <laughs> yeah, I've got a baby in my Fridge, lap. Fridge, bathroom, shower. Twin beds with a little connector piece. 
I'll be unpacking going. Nice and easy if you don't care about your clothes being folded. No, I don't. Ellie, are you already having a great time? Despite how many bags we had, it took about five minutes to dump it all into cabinets so we're all packed up. I think we're gonna run into the grocery store and then hit the road and hopefully hit nothing else. John and Peter are gonna take me for a little test drive just to make sure I feel really good handling the manual because I have very little experience driving a stick shift. So here's the real key to all of this. When you're ready to start, your foot always goes on the brake and you always put the clutch down. Mm -hmm. And the way you always start is like that. Doesn't matter if it's in neutral, makes no difference. Learning so, how to drive stick shift. Right, so here's how this works. On the clutch. As soon as it starts it, I'll tell you what did you did wrong. Okay. You did. So hold on, don't start it yet. Okay. So what did you do wrong? I get did I go all the way off the clutch? You did two things wrong. Okay. Don't come up too fast on the clutch. That's exactly how it's done. That was perfect. I'm gonna get yelled at Italian before this day is over. No worries. Keith is doing his first like open road driving in manual in the motorhome. It's a little bit nerve wracking. I'm kind of nervous for us to be driving without Peter in the front seat telling Keith exactly what to do. Got it now. Keep it that way. Keep it in first all the way around. Don't forget you're driving along the way. Peter is a great teacher. I'm I'm still pretty nervous, especially because this is my first time driving on Italian roads, so the road signs are gonna be different. I studied them before we came over, and I studied driving a manual before we came over very briefly, but combining them both together in a motorhome, it's uh, a bit stressful, but we're only going an hour today, so our campsite's only an hour away. But really the main thing I think is just going from, you know, into first gear and then once that happens, I'm totally good. But we're gonna give it a shot and hit the road. Nothing's happening. Oh yeah, because I'm not in gear yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm trying to play it cool. <laughs> There's an English sign on it. I yeah. love it. You can do it, babe. I'm in. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm in the right gear. Hurry before the thing goes down. There we go. <laughs> that was so nerve-wracking. <laughs> are popping up now and I think we're actually driving through a construction zone and up a hill. Really testing key driving skills here on this first day. I don't know. Attenzione something. Rallentare. We should we need to look up that word. I've seen it a few times. All the opposing traffic in the tunnel was flashing their brights at Heath because he had his brights on when he tried to turn on his lights. We're new at this. Feeling pretty confident, right? I'm glad that you are. I'm really confident in you, driver. Thanks, 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 thanks. Wait. We're not moving where we're supposed to be, so maybe I should not be confident. Did it go? Okay. <gasps> we did it! It said bye. Later. One. So now we're getting into, I guess, like a little village town. It's our first town to drive through off the highway. So we'll see if the roads are getting much smaller. But we're only 12 minutes away from the campground, so hopefully, we can't talk and shift gears yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're my best friend. Okay, so we were following Google Maps. I'm surprised Ellie is still sleeping because I was yelling at Heath to stop because we ended up on this road that clearly ends in the water. Stop yelling at me! No, it's stop yelling! There's no road here! 
And uh, John's gonna take over because now we need to back up, back onto the tiny <laughs> Italian road and actually find where this campground is. Don't trust Google Maps. Don't trust Google Maps. Man, looking at this road, we probably should have known better than to turn. Heath made it back in. I don't know why Google Maps was trying to take us that way. There we go, camping. It's a 90 degree turn, to, are you kidding me? <laughs> They've got a mirror up there so you can see that there's no one coming. Oh great. This is <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this turn. Left, I guess? Turn this way? Five. No, that says stop. Buongiorno. <laughs> yeah, we're going to me. Uh, yes, this is uh, Pietro. He's actually in the, in the motorhome behind us. We made it in one piece. We're going to make some dinner and hang out for the night and then continue our trek to the Dolomites tomorrow morning. Yay. I just want to say how proud I am of Heath. That was an awesome job. For somebody to have the courage to come over to Italy who's never driven a stick shift before and spend 10 minutes, 15 minutes learning a little bit and just take it out on the Autostrada, I'm very impressed. Thanks, you guys Peter. are fearless. I killed it. That was a nice compliment.